welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews. In this episode, we take a look into my all-time favorite consoles that I have had the experience of owning in my lifetime. Let's see if you agree. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. Growing up, I had the pleasure of playing many video game consoles and really enjoyed all my time all the way up to today and still going. I always wonder if I really had to rank my all-time great hardware I own, which would be in my top five. Before I start, although I'm a huge PC fan as well, especially with my Steam account, I have to admit this to just gaming consoles for this edition. My number five pick would have to go to Sega Dreamcast. Released in 1999, Sega's last hurrah as the console manufacturer, Sega's final machine brought so many memories of what was to come with online gaming. I love the console, but with its incredibly light library of games before its demise, although immensely memorable, kept this one from being higher on my list. Number four would have to go to the Sega Saturn. Coming in 1995 in the US, I know that the Sega Saturn gets a bad rap, but I really enjoyed this generation as my go-to for 2D arcade fighting games. With its immense Japanese support, this console became one of the most played systems I have ever played. Without Capcom though, I don't believe that I would have even thought of buying the system after Sega's 32X, which shows how much I do still love Capcom. Number 3 on my list has to go to the Nintendo Entertainment System. Although a huge Sega fan, I must say that I had to have this system and wasn't disappointed when the system came out in 1985. Still one of the best games to ever grace gaming history, the original NES had some of the best gameplay and library that I played for hours on end over and over again. The second best console would have to go to the Sega Genesis for me. My first console was the Sega Master System, but I lived my young childhood with Nintendo. Somewhere in between, I grew up and enjoyed my teen years with the Sega Genesis that really pushed how games could be cool and made me feel worlds above ch my childhood with more intense action, violence, and mature themes. I never saw this on a good old Nintendo in 1989. Some of the best memories come from this system as a whole that was the underdog but could and would challenge Nintendo was such a different time in the console wars. My number one best console has to go to Microsoft's Xbox 360. With the demise of Sega, I instantly got attached to Microsoft's green box that didn't realize what it could be until 2005. This console had me playing so many games that truly pushed the envelope in gaming and infrastructure for online multiplayer and immersive games, especially in the storytelling department. This system quickly caught my attention and has become my biggest library of games owned in my collection. Even with the red ring of death, it couldn't stop me from playing this console that truly pushed the boundaries for me and kept me gaming when I actually thought about quitting gaming altogether. Of course, that never came to be, and I'm much happier for it. Still a big fan of gaming today. I really can't wait to see what's next, but still need to catch up on my immense backlog of games that I really must sit down and play and complete. That's it for this look into my favorite consoles I had the pleasure to own and experience. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.